fire. Get the beer. It helps like, oh, come on the heat. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Tribeca, Manhattan, New York City. Today I'm super excited because I'm here with Ming from the Bing Buzz, and we're at Benadis, a fine dining Indian restaurant in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in the city. Tribeca is located between Chinatown and downtown. Here at Benadis, they do high-end North Indian food. So we're gonna have some delicious dishes, we're gonna drink some, probably some Indian beer, cocktails, we're gonna have a huge naan. I'm super excited. When was the last time you had Indian food? It's been a while since I had authentic Indian food, so we're super excited. Awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, join us inside. Let's go meet with Ankit, the owner. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go inside Ben Addis. Welcome. How are you guys? Good. My man. Nice to meet you, David. How nice are you? Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Ankit. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Ankit. Welcome to Tribeca Benares. So we've been here for about 12 years now. It's a family-owned restaurant. We're so glad to have you here. All right, so what are we gonna eat tonight? What do you have in mind? Quick question, what do you wanna eat tonight? Everything, especially the lassi. <laughs> Everything? Yeah. I, I want some curries, I want some masala, some naan. Honestly, Benares Tribeca has a bunch of cuisines. Vegetarian, vegan, non-veg, seafood, goat, chicken, you name it. To be honest, I think I know what you guys are gonna like. Let's start off with some custa gobi, which is a nice cauliflower dish, some chicken 6-5, which is phenomenal, and then of course, some tandoori chicken straight out of our clay oven. I think you're gonna love it. But we have to start with a drink. I need a beer. Let's do it. Come on over, meet up with my bartender. What drink can we get you today? I would like some lychee lover. I'll take a lassi, please. Yeah, I'll take this one right here. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, cheers, cheers. 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 To Benares. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Yum. Yum. Oh, wow. Wow. Good, good, right? Beautiful. The lassi? Mm. Is it nice and thick or is it? Nice and thick. Yeah. Oh, this beer is awesome. So it's like more of a wheat, wheat ale, this one. Mm. Let me try yours. All right. <laughs> mm. Yum. Mm. Nice and sweet, I love it. So I taste a lot of coriander, orange peel. No, I'm joking. You just told me all the ingredients here. No, but it's really nice. It's a, it's a good. It's like a wheat ale. This one. Yeah, it is actually. You're right. Exactly. Nice and refreshing. Mm-hmm. Refreshing. Probably like five percent alcohol. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I could always 4. tell. Four point seven. Four point seven. Exactly. <laughs> when, when it's like eight or nine. You feel a difference. Yeah. My man, thank you so much. Of course, you man. are the best. Love you. So we're gonna go to the kitchen now. We're gonna see them make an incredible array of dishes. I'm excited. I cannot wait. There, let's go. So over here, we have our tandoori Hi, section. Here's Gomez right there. So he manages the door. So all of our grilled food is actually made in these clay ovens that get up to about 400 degrees. Let's take a look at that. It's all nice and clay and hot. My friend. Yes. Pleasure meeting you. This is Jeevan, sir. He's our executive chef. He's been with Benares since we started, and he truly is the backbone of our business. And then we also have our other chefs here. We have Hector and Sean. This is where the curry chefs are. So this is one of the nice dishes I wanted you to try called Custa Gobi. As you can see, it's a nicely cauliflower light dish, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So what do you guys think? Oh, it's amazing. So good. On the streets of India, uh, they'll have uh, these right there. And then doing pakora, chicken 65. I mean, it's crazy. It's really hot. Oh Stay away from that. So we just made three appetizers. One's chicken tikka, but like the flag of India, basically all the different Taranga colors. kebab, yeah. Taranga kebab. Yeah. Chicken uh, 65. Yeah. And the other one is? Kastagobi. Kastagobi. For you. Okay. Okay. My favorite. Perfect. <laughs> so let's eat this, and then we'll come back later for the entrees. Let's do it. My man, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, my friends, we are ready to try the appetizers. Are you ready? Man? I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited too. So over here we have the chicken tikka, but he has a different name for it. So it's basically the flag of India. And this is basically boneless chicken. Okay. Chicken tikka means boneless chicken. And he put it, you know, on a skewer in a tandoor oven. So it's gonna taste like, bro, it's gonna fall apart in your mouth. All right. It's gonna be so good. And over here we have the gobi. I forgot the exact name of this one as well, but it's almost like gobi manchurian, a little different, right? Redder. And this is an Indo-Chinese dish. So it's basically fried cauliflower. And they obviously put some garnishing. So they put coriander and then spring onion on top. And over here we have chicken 65. This is the bomb. This is almost like fried chicken with masalas mm. and chilies. Spicy. Spicy. Ooh. Which one you want to try first? Let's go with this one. I like this the one? Color okay, okay. You put two different chutneys, which we also have in front of us, just like mint and tamarind, right? All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Tastes how moist it is, right? So tender. Tender. Wow. Mm. I love Chinese. So the tamarind, that's sweet. The mm. other ones, not so spicy, but you have a little more of a kick, right? There is a kick at the end. Yeah, yeah it so it's a nice it. mix. Wow, that kick is nice. I'm pretty sure they're the same. They just added something different to make the coloring, right? Okay. Oh my Green. Gosh. Green yeah. chicken. Green wow. chicken, right? Look at this bad boy. You see, mm. you put it on a skewer. Oh, I see the hole. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. Oh, this is the best. This is the way you have to eat most meats. I mean, I've eaten meat, you know, chicken, every type of, you know, animal yeah. around the world. Mm -hmm. But when it's in the tender oven, it's a different world. Wow. It's yeah. insane. It's insane. And you see the burn mark too. It's so yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's like a little charred, right? Yeah. Smoky as well. It's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Just dip into that one right, right there. Mm-hmm. This one? Mm hmm All right. Adventurous. Hmm. Nice and sweet. Super juicy chicken. Since you both tried the colorful chicken, I'm gonna go with the regular color. Mmm. You guys are right, Ruben. Love the sauce. Just to correct you, it's not sauce, it's chutney. Chutney? Oh, chutney, okay. chutney. Because in India, people get mad when we call it sauce. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm dunking it into the chutney. I love the chutney. Oh, one more bite. We still have a lot of food. Mm. It's too good. I'm so excited to try this gobi. My favorite appetizer. Love that cauliflower. Love the chutney. I was gonna say sauce again, but <laughs> thanks for putting me on. <laughs> All right, Archer, my friend, let's mm -hmm. jump on this. All right. I love this. It's almost like a, it's like a sweet and sour type sweet of thing. Sour? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fun. Mm. This for me is China. Mm -hmm. like the flavors of China. You know. You're right. So good. Oh, it's nice and tangy, it's not too spicy. Yeah. So it's it's not crazy breaded, but definitely fried. You know. Yeah. I'm not a big vegetarian fan, but I love this. Yeah. yeah I mean, I have it every time. With Indian food, yeah. you will become a, a vegetarian. All right. <laughs> you will love it. All right. He doesn't love veg. I do. <laughs> mm. So good. Love it. It's delicious, and we are gonna jump on a super spicy chicken 65. We ask for spicy because we love spice in this table. Wow. But I have to mentally prepare myself for this one. Mm -hmm. So it's fried, then they mix it in, they basically saute it, right? They mix some curry leaves and so it's like a jalapeno. Oh, that's real, yeah. So let's jump on it. That presentation right. is a 10 out of 10. Oh, nice and crunchy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. Chicken's so good. That chicken mm. is so good. It's so smooth. It goes down so well. So well. Wow. Almost like butter, right? Yeah. Whoa. Exactly. I'm feeling the spice now. <laughs> but I had a little bit of that, right? Little pepper, yeah. Lightly fried, not too much, right? But I just love everything they added to it. So they added a few different masalas from what I saw. But then you have a curry leaf right there at that. Okay. It's so tender. I can't believe it. Yeah, let's try more. Mm -hmm. Take like a big piece. Almost like. The chicken nuggets, right? Mm -hmm. But way more, <laughs> way better. Mm -hmm. For me, spice level, I'd say it's like an eight, maybe seven, right? It's manageable. Manageable. Yeah. I mean, you start to feel a tingle, right? A little bit. A little sweat <laughs> dripping yeah. down. <laughs> I'm all in with this. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not leaving anything for. I could me. eat a whole meal of this, man. Save <laughs> <laughs> some room in your stomach. <laughs> it starts to hit you. Oh, but it's worth it. Ready to eat. Uh -oh. <laughs> the hot? Spicy. Okay, it's manageable, but it, it is like, it is like a seven. Seven, eight. The guy here was telling us, he's like, could have made it spicier. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Very spicy, jalapeno, curry leaf. But wow, what a good dish, right? Really gotta eat like that. Open up the palates. I'm ready to go for more. This might be my new favorite. <laughs> Move aside, Gobi. <laughs> Just kidding, they're both so good. <laughs> I'm on fire. Get the beer. It helps like, ooh, calm the heat. 
Wow. Alright, we're going back into the kitchen to see how they make the entrees. A bunch of curries. So we just saw how they made the lamb and the shrimp tandoor. So basically, just put it on the skewer, already marinated in this beautiful, like, orange, red paste, right? Yep. Look at that. Incredible. So huge prawns, nice lamb, lamb chops, and now he's going to make a few curries. I think four curries wow. and a massive naan. Wow. So it's biryani in a clay pot with naan top. So we're watching all these master chefs make non-stop curry dishes. Incredible. They don't stop. Our food's already on the table, so we're going to make a big naan right now, and then we're going to go to the table and eat. Okay, thank My you man, so much. thank you. I appreciate it. You're a master here, dude. Look at this. All the masalas. This guy doesn't stop. He literally was making like 10 plates over two minutes or something. It was crazy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank, thank you, boss. Thank you. I'll see you next time, okay? okay thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you. you ready to eat? Yes, let's go. Chef, chef. Okay. Thank you. Ming, are you ready? Super ready. <laughs> Super let's ready. Go. This is going to be amazing. Look at all these what? This is crazy. So, we got some tandoori lamb chops, some bundi raita, a nice dumb veg biryani, a nice garlic of family naan, a vivani handi, chicken tikka masala, some alu gobi, and some lovely tandoori shrimp. Okay, my friends. Ooh. I am excited. I'm so excited, man. This is crazy. Wow, how do we start? Well, I think we start with the easy stuff first. Okay. Like that. So Ben, are you a lamb guy? Sometimes. If yeah. it's done well, yeah. It's done well? Well, this is done really well. All right. Let's enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's done really well. Mm-hmm. Wow. I so, can't even tell this is lamb at first. I know, right? Wow. That, so that feeling, mm -hmm. the moisture, mm -hmm. that's straight from the you know, tandoori. Okay. Right? So the clay oven gives it this feeling so different and I love how it's a little smoky and like the marination is very light, right? Mm -hmm. It just comes off. Usually mm -hmm. lamb is very dry. That's why I'm kind of like worried at times. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Wow. This is unreal. Dave, this lamb is so freaking tender. It's so good. It's so freaking good. I love this. It's actually really good. I know, man. You know, for me, lamb is my favorite. Lamb and goat, really. Mm. But people tell me like, how do you eat lamb? Like, how do you not eat lamb? Like, it's this crazy. is how you do it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather eat this over beef every day. Yeah, you're lamb right. over beef, right? And then we have also massive prawns. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. So these are the two tandoori uh, items, right? And we have to eat them right away because if not, they get too cold. So cheers. Here we go. Massive. <laughs> Nice and charred, I mean, but a huge, huge prawn, right? I've never had shrimp done like this before. Never, right? Never, never. I mean, it's only done in Indian restaurants. Wow. You're never gonna find it anywhere else. And that's the best part about tandoor. You know, some other like Central Asian countries do it, mm -hmm. but not like India. You know? It's almost like you throw anything in there, it's gonna come out tasting good. Oh, dude, they even put <laughs> cheese in there. Wow. Oh, cheese is ridiculous. The paneer, this is right here, we have paneer, so big blocks of cheese. Put it in there on a skewer to die for it. Wow. I love shrimp. Shrimp is my go-to meat. Let's go. Mmm. I saw them cooking this. So much marination goes into this. So delicious. Cheers, my man. Cheers. I love this beer. Let's go. Wow, it's so fresh, so clean. Beer as well. The white one, right? So it's the, the wheat one. Some good ear. This incredible like paneer vegetable curry plus chicken tikka masala, the national dish of Great Britain. That's crazy. It's amazing. And over here we have some cauliflower and that's like more of a dry curry. Okay. And again, curry is a British thing. Masalas is the base of making these gravy. So curry is really gravy. Mm. Masala, the spices are used to make it. And obviously that's cream. Wow. It's a bunch of cream. Perspective right there. <laughs> Dude, it's a lot of perspective, right? Yeah. And we have to pull the naan, so just grab a piece. Okay. You know? So this is how we're gonna eat it, right? In North India, they always use their hands with the bread, right? So you just grab a piece. You're not supposed to get too much. Okay. But you just go in here and right to the butter chicken, or not the butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. You get a big chunk of that. Easy, shove it in your mouth. All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> creamy. Tender chicken is not spicy at all. So good. I like eating with my hands to be honest. Mm. I enjoy it. Me too. But why can we eat burgers and pizza with our hands and we can't eat this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on. We're humans. We're humans. Before there was utensils, we were always using our hands, yeah. you know? 
so it shouldn't be looked down upon at all, right? right? It feels so grounded. It's nice. Yeah, man, it's humbling, right? Exactly. This is how people eat, you know? Just grab some bread, you grab what you got, and you go in. I'm gonna get the next one. All right. Yeah, so what is this? It's like a cauliflower, you got paneer in here. Dude, brother, how big is cauliflower? It's crazy. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. So it's spinach, it's paneer, cottage cheese, cauliflower. That's so different from anything else. Because there's two different dishes, like palak paneer and sag paneer. So palak is just spinach, and then sag has curry leaves. Okay. Cur no, mustard leaves. Mustard. It's like basically greens. Okay. No? Man, if I have spinach done like this every day, I'll eat spinach every day. So I'm telling you, this is the best veggie dishes on the planet, yeah. right here. So much, but you just, you can enjoy every bit of it. Exactly. So next to it, we have massive cauliflower, right? And because my hands are already dirty. <laughs> so you got potatoes, tomatoes, mm. and cauliflower. And it's a dry curry. Okay. So it's not like these that are super like, you know, saucy. Yeah. It's right. so simple, but it's so rich. I like it. So simple, so rich. And if you want to, dude, just grab some of this, put it right here, you know, like that. And then just get another piece of bread. And just pick up more. All right. All right. To be honest, I can eat any food every day. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing so it every are. day. <laughs> So that's how it's done. That's incredible. This is so good, huh? Even the bread alone is so good. Imagine the bread with the chicken. No, man, I know. And you can just get gravy if you want. Just like a little bit of gravy on top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. For me, this is what makes Indian cuisine. Mm. All these gravies. Amazing. Yeah, man, because you literally, they can make, they can use the same gravy mm -hmm. and do it with paneer. So it's a veg version. You could also do it with shrimp. You could do it with anything, you know, basically, right? Wow. Cool. I can get tired of eating this for sure, for real. So cheers, cheers. What a great wow. place. Banadis. Benadis. Benadis, right? Mm -hmm. This is Indian beer. Right here. My turn. Shall I start with chicken tikka masala and shove it in my mouth? I heard it. This is some good chicken tikka masala. All right, guys, this is my favorite part about eating biryani with anybody, showing them how to do it. Okay, so dude, are you ready? We washed our hands, by the way. So wash your hands. Oh, man. <laughs> now you go in. This is a veg biryani, so there's no chicken to break up. There's nothing, but you just go in like this. Oh, man. All right? Oh, you know, I'm sorry, there is chicken. Sorry, it's not a veg, it's just chicken. So you're just gonna go in like that and break. Oh, Feels wow. good, right? So warm. <laughs> 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 so in South India they do this, in North India they don't do it as much. But the reasoning behind this is that you get way more of the real flavor because if you have it with a spoon, you know, with a metal spoon, it's gonna change the flavor profile, wow, right? Wow, I'm so not used to this. What you do is you just try to like get like a tiny ball, like if you want, like put like that, put like that. You could use the bottom three, you could use the four, you okay. always use the fit to push in, right? Yeah. So like straight in. Mm. How's that? Mmm. Wow. Well, wow, it's incredible. The experience mm. too. Mm -hmm. And the gesture without the without the utensil. It's so interesting. Dude, it's an experience. Yeah. That's why when anybody tells me this is like primitive way or that's not how it's done, it is how it is done in South India. Mm. They always eat biryani like this. Wow. And then, you know, if you want, you can put some of this raita. So this is another yogurt, right? So you put it on the side. You can mix it in, but then you're gonna make it creamy and you're gonna lose a lot of the, the spices here. Okay. But you can still do that, right? Okay. But this is how I do it, just like that. And then... Mm-hmm. This is the king of dishes, by the way. Wow. The king. There's so much herb and spices in this rice alone. Mm-hmm. So colorful. Mint. I taste it. Mm-hmm. Very earthy, too. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna move in the right side like that, right? Oh, okay. This actually makes it like glue together. Look at that. Makes it like a ball, right? I love this. I like the cream. I love that creaminess. Can we the share this? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
I feel like yeah. a real human right now. Dude, for sure. Wow. And I love doing this. So this is how I've seen it done in India. Look. Wow. Uh, just moving it on. And don't worry. Your hands clean. We're going to wash it after. It's fine. Hit the ball. We do bon appetit. All right. Cheers. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's like that's how you bond, right? You share your, you share your food together, but mm -hmm. this is a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Get to know somebody. Mm -hmm. Lately, I've been meeting a lot of people, and literally, I eat within the first hour I meet them. And it's like, you change, you know? <laughs> like, we really get to know each other. Right. It's not like somebody's in the way, we're just, you know, conversing over food. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, wow. you've done a much better job than me. But. Oh, dude, I'm a pro, bro. <laughs> and, and, you know, you're not supposed to leave any grains. Oh, okay. Remember, there's people out there that are hungry, so you don't leave anything, right? Awesome, yeah. But we still have dessert. <laughs> That's sitting well right now. Wow. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. You love it? Even rice, just rice. Oh, I love it. Wow. Dude, the biryani is so good. And this one, because it's in the clay pot, with the, you know, they put the knot on top, so different. Yeah. Like a little smoky, too. A little smoky, you're right. And how does the rice have so much flavor? It's insane. Oh, dude, the yeah. spices, it's running different layers. Yeah. And wow. it's all top ingredients, so it's not like just any sauce, any stuff. I'm gonna send you a video of how they make this. Okay. Oh. There's enough rice for me. Okay. Oh, it's so warm. Yes, you gotta break up the chicken. All right, I got you. Yes. Anki did not need to warm this up. It's already still warm. I, I'm so. I'm surprised it's still so warm. Mix it and then try to make a little ball like in your fingers. Okay. And then that's it. You just put it in your mouth. That's super easy. Not a pro at this. You're good. How is. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's do it. I have a mini ball. Mm. Delicious. So much taste to it. How long did it take for you to perfect the ball? Well, that was a lot of years of practice. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our desserts. Three desserts. We have Ras Malai, my favorite Indian dessert ever. It's actually Bengali dessert. And over here we have the. Volcano we call it? Yeah. Volcano, so it's basically ice cream, some chocolate, right? Yeah. And pistachio. Pistachio kulfi. And the pistachio kulfi is actually melting, so let's jump on that right now. Alright. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. That's the softest one. Yeah. It's not so dense, right? Yeah. Good? Pistachio is usually not my thing, but this is great. Oh, pistachio is my thing, bro. Wow. This is Mm -hmm. oh, it's like healthy ice cream. It's like healthy ice cream, right? So kulfi for me, the best way to compare the texture is usually between an ice cream and sorbet. It doesn't melt yep. as fast. Yep. And it's a little denser. Yeah. Right? It's like foamy in your mouth. It's like foamy, yeah. right? Yeah. And then right here we have my favorite, bro. You have to try it. Oh, if that's your favorite, it's gotta be legit. Yeah, so it's like, man, it's hard to explain. It's like clotted milk balls. Okay. Something like that. So it's, it's very confusing how they make it, but I'll learn one day. All right. Bro, I hope you enjoy this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Cardamom too. Mm. Mm. There's so much in there. I can't pinpoint it. Nice and sweet. And you have this milk, right? Mm. It's very creamy, soft. Mm. Exactly. Wow. And it melts. It melts, bro. There's texture, but it just melts. For, for me, this is the ultimate Indian dessert. So you have Ras Gulai, Gulab Jamun, but Ras Malai is my favorite. It's sweet, but it's, it's nice. It's sweet, yeah. it's nice, it's different. Wow. I'm, I'm getting so full that I'm just taking one bite of this guy. Chocolate oh. and rose. Chocolate and rose? Oh, I love the combo. So basically it's like, it's Valentine's Day on October 7th or 8th. Wow. Mm. I have a sweet tooth. I have a second stomach for dessert. So I'll finish it off. <laughs> Pistachio coffee. Delicious. I like the texture, the little pieces inside. David's favorite. Ooh, let's see. Mm. I've tried this before. Good. 
Oh, it's too, yeah. Yeah, so familiar. I see why it's your favorite. You have one more. Chocolate is my weakness. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Mm. This is my favorite. This is, this is so freaking good. Love the chocolate. Rose combination. Perfect. It's really it's unique. Dude, she wasn't kidding. She has a second stomach. Look how much she ate. <laughs> the whole thing. She ate everything. This is so good. All right, my friends, that is it. Benares, incredible, super delicious North Indian cuisine right here in the heart of Tribeca. What do you guys think? Oh, it's wonderful. Delicious. The stuff. Oh, so good. So For, full. What was your favorite? My favorite was the chicken six five. Oh, the appetizer, I loved it. Yeah. Chicken 6-5 and the biryani for me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Gotta give a big shout out to Ankit and the entire staff here. What an incredible experience. You know, from the second we walked in, we had some drinks, we went to the back, we saw them making all the food, the curries, the naan, the tandoor. I mean, it was amazing. Then we had a non-stop meal. I think we had like 10 plus dishes. Okay. I'm full. I'm done. I'm tired. Amazing. Done. Amazing. We yeah. are so full. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to their channel, and we'll see you in the next Trop Food Adventure in New York City. Oh, where's the rest of that kulfi? <laughs> <laughs> I finished it. I, I know you did. <laughs>